Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Electric where we simplify electrical engineering for everyone. If you are preparing for interviews or just want to strengthen your basics, you are in the right place. Today's topic, one of the most asked interview questions and an essential concept in electrical systems. What is a starter? Why do we use it and how does it work? Let's break it down in a way that's super easy to understand, no engineering degree required. Let's get into it. Alright, first things first, what exactly is a starter? In simple terms, a starter is a device used to safely start and stop an electric motor. It's like a gatekeeper. It controls the amount of current going into the motor when it starts. When motor starts, they can draw up to 6 to 8 times their normal running current. That's like a sudden electrical shock to your system. A starter prevents this and ensures a smooth start. So why is it needed? Well, without a starter, the motor can get damaged from high inrush current, electrical components can overheat, and the entire power supply system can get unstable. Whereas with a starter, it limits the initial current, protects the motor and improves its life and improves efficiency and ensures safe operation. Now let's explore the different types of starters. These are especially important if you are appearing for interviews. Number 1 DOL starter or direct online used for small motors typically less than 5 HP simple and cost effective and delivers full line voltage to the motor. Number 2 star delta starter used for medium to large motors initially connects motor in start that is low voltage then switches to delta that is full voltage and reduces starting current significantly. Number 3 auto transformer starter uses a transformer to reduce voltage during startup and suitable for large motors. And number 4 soft starter or solid state starter uses electronic components to gradually ramp up voltage, offers smooth controlled starts and used in industries where vibration and torque control matter. Now in the interviews if they ask why can't we start motors directly, explain the inrush current problem, its effective its effect on winding insulation and how it could trip protection systems. Mentioned how starters provide both current control and protection. Let me simplify it even further. Think of a motor as a car engine. You don't slam the accelerator to the floor as soon as you start the car, right? You ease into it. That's exactly what a starter does to a motor. It lets it start gradually without stress. And that's it. You now know what a starter is, why it's important and the different types used in the industry. This simple knowledge can help you confidently answer common interview questions and understand real world motor control systems. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your fellow learners and don't forget to subscribe for more beginner friendly electrical engineering tutorials. Got more questions or want us to cover a specific interview topic? Drop it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.